We're at Focus TV Network, and you're watching Moms Matter with Sherwin Yadigar, and I have Natalie Kunin from Team Tutors, who has been an educator for nearly 20 years. We're so happy to have you here in the studio with us today. Thank you so much, Sherwin. I'm so glad to be here. Well, I'm so happy that you're here to help navigate our moms through the application process of middle school, which I found to be one of the most treacherous things I have ever gone through. And this is perfect timing. So this is June. Yep. Which means what do parents need to do as far as IC prep and signing up and so forth Great. and so on? Great. Well, this is the perfect time to get started. Okay. So the process is from June until late November, early December of your child's typically fifth grade year, sixth grade year, or eighth grade year, depending if they're applying out for sixth grade, seventh grade, or ninth grade, which are the three natural entry points to secondary school. So we always say, start with an ISCE diagnostic assessment so that we get a baseline mm -hmm. and we get a sense of what a child's natural strengths and weaknesses are, what their test taking skills are like, how do they approach problem solving. Once we have the diagnostic, we start IC prep with that student. Typically, we want to see students to prepare for the IC for between three and five months okay. so that they have a nice, consistent, weekly, not overwhelming experience mm -hmm. preparing for it. They don't need to give up any of their activities right. like soccer and gymnastics. This is just a part of their fall. Um, I see registration itself opens in the middle of August. That's okay. when parents sign up. Okay. And as you know, you can now take the IC twice. Yeah, so what does that mean for students? Good question, good question. So for most students, it's nice to know that you have two opportunities to take the test. It minimizes stress and anxiety. Our goal is to have students prepared to take one test, okay reach their goal scores, do the best job they can do on that day. They need to do that before November 30th. That's okay. what the ERB company, who owns the IC, calls window one. So we target students to take the IC the Saturday before Thanksgiving. That's the ideal time. Now, students can have a bad day. Right. You can be coming down with the flu. Mm -hmm. You can say, Mom, it just wasn't my best day. Those students who don't reach their goal scores, we might recommend that they take the IC a second time. Okay. They can do that in what's called window two. Window two opens December 1st, okay. and our students would take that second IC in most cases the first or second Saturday of December. Right. And then in some cases, we would push it to early January. Okay, and then will most of the schools just look at the higher score or are they gonna take mm -hmm. both the scores? Right, not necessarily. We wanna be prepared for the fact that many schools want to see both sets of scores. Okay. There are some schools that just wanna see the scores that you want to send, okay. the high scores. Right. But they don't super score, meaning they don't pull scores from particular sections. Right. So we prepare our families to submit, in many cases, both sets of scores. Okay. But we also overall are recommending that students take this test once. It's long. It's three hours long. It's a big commitment. But what's nice is to know now that there is a second opportunity if the student needs it. Okay, so from personal experience, because I have gone through the process right, with right. you, yep. and my daughter had an exceptional tutor, and I thought the way that you placed the tutors with the student was just extraordinary. And how do you exactly do that? I mean, there are so many different personalities, and it really is important sure. who you're working with to get the scores you want, and to feel like you've got someone really yeah. on your team and helping you through the That's process. That's a great question. You know, sometimes I joke with my team that we could also have a side branch of Harmony.com <laughs> or Match.com <laughs> it's really important to us right. to make a good personality match. It's all about listening to the parent mm. and asking the parent questions about his or her child. You know, mm. we're both parents here. Sure. We Definitely. can both speak to who is the ideal person 
to walk into your home once a week for 90 mm -hmm. minutes. It's sort of like when you're choosing a great babysitter. Is that person kind, patient, um, high energy or low key, uh, an athlete, someone your son might identify with, or a cool female role model. Mm -hmm. So we look at personality, we talk in depth to parents about who their child would benefit from mm -hmm. working with in terms of personality match. And then we look at the fact that your child's tutor is a role model is a mentor, yeah. is a cheerleader during this process, is someone who is going to be keeping anxiety down, boosting confidence. This is a hard test. It's a really hard test. This is a tough process. We want to make it positive, productive. These are the kind of skills, test taking skills and strategies and techniques that set a student up for a lifetime of positive test taking, of not being anxious. And so the tutor who we pair your child with is probably one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle. It really is, and, and like you yeah. said, it sets them up for the SATs and the ACTs and all the other tests they'll take throughout their lives. Yeah. Naturally, a lot of us have test taking anxiety. Sure. I mean, I almost have to say without having the data at my fingertips, <laughs> you know, at least 50% of us remember taking tests was hard for me. 100%. Um, so we build in a series of what we call stress busters. Fantastic. These are things that the tutor does. They're really tools that will help a child forever, especially a child with some test taking anxiety, have the skills, have the strategies at their fingertips to make it a more positive experience on test day. That's wonderful. And the research really shows that if you know how to calm yourself and mm -hmm. take your anxiety, you're going to score higher. So that it really essentially is very important. Um, reducing anxiety boosts confidence. Okay. So we look at it as scales and we look at it as taking anxiety down, and confidence coming up. I would say that students who feel most prepared for the IC are those students who are familiar with the test, mm -hmm. have had a good prep experience, feel like they're ready to tackle right. it, have taken a practice test so they know what it feels like. They know what the timing feels like, what the pace feels like, what it's like to be in a classroom with a proctor who you don't know. Right, it's this all new. isn't your classroom teacher. Right. Surrounded by other children your age who you don't know. Right. Right. Your mom can't go in with you. You're kind of flying solo. And our goal is for children to say, I feel confident, I have all the tools I need, and I feel ready Fantastic. to tackle this. So once you've prepped them and they're ready and they've mm -hmm. taken the test, what's the next step for mamas out there who are watching? What do they need to do and get prepared to do? During this process, starting in anywhere between July, when the schools open their registration um, websites, okay. through August, you know, the schools sort of have a four to six week window in which they open up their websites, their registration. Um, and, you know, probably you want to do this by mid-September at the latest. Okay. So you'll go on to the school's websites that you're interested in learning more about. They will invite you to come on a tour of the school. That's really the next step. You might have already started IC prep. You might have a list of schools you're interested in. Mm -hmm. So the step after that is to tour the schools, to see how you like the communities, how you like the size of the school, what the schools have to offer. The good news is about secondary school, and this is different from kindergarten, is that your child goes with you and generally yeah. tours with a peer tour guide. And it's really important to listen to your child. He or she may come out of their tour saying, I love this place. Mm -hmm. It has everything I'm passionate about. Right. Or your child may leave and say, you know what? This doesn't feel like the right school for me. So those tours are critical. Right. Right. Then you work on your applications. Sure. You work on getting ready for your interviews. Um, and those are the components that happen uh, during IC prep and right after IC prep. Typically you have another several weeks to work on applications. Right and to prepare for your interviews 
and the schools all um, have different uh, interview sort of scenarios. But does team tutors um, prepare for that as well? Yes. So students can come in if they're shy and timid and you yeah. can help prep them for their interview process Not as well. Not all students need interview prep. Sure. I mean, you sure. know as a parent, when my child... child is going to love this process. Right. She loves talking about herself. Right. She's comfortable with adults. Um, she's relaxed versus maybe a parent who says, I mm. think my child could use some previewing right. of the questions that are going to be asked, how to sit in an interview, um, that walking in, making eye contact, shaking hands, saying thank you, and knowing what you're going to be asked um, in a general way is helpful for some kids to preview so that they feel more confident right. and more in control. And we can certainly help those kids that need, need that. that. That's great. Yeah. So it sounds like you kind of cover A through Z, we do. help out through the whole IC process, and we're so thankful, all the moms here on the west side for Team Tutors, oh, my you really pleasure. have helped navigate us, and this was so helpful to everyone who's doing this for the first time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, We're Natalie. here for you. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. That was live right here, Natalie Coonan from Team Tutors. Please feel free to reach out to her with any questions you have about ICs, getting ready, and applying to schools. Trust me, it is treacherous. You need the help, so reach out and get the help. And you saw it live right here at Focus TV Network.